In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get this big fat snare drum sound that you're about to hear. Okay, let's talk drum heads. On the batter head, I have a Remo Power Stroke 77 coated. It's got a center dot, which is dark blue. This really allows the drum to not sing as much and then have a big fat snare sound that you're used to hearing on country records or worship records, and I absolutely love it. On the bottom, on the resonant side, I have an Evans 300 clear. I'm not a typical Evans user, but this is what came with the snare drum when I originally bought it, and I still have used it. I haven't replaced it yet. Sounds just fine. You can use a Remo Ambassador Hazy if you prefer Remo, but this gets the job done. To get started, let's go ahead and grab our snare drum and remove it from its stand. Next, I will typically grab a towel and place it underneath the surface of wherever it is I'm planning on tuning my drum. This allows for one side of the head to be heard because I don't want to hear both heads at the same time. Once I have my towel down, I will flip my snare drum over and I will put it on the resonant side. From there, I will grab a drumstick and put it underneath the snare wires, grab my tune bot and begin tuning the resonant side. The goal that I'm gonna be aiming for for the resonant side head is 380 hertz per each lug. You can go slightly higher than this, but I would not go above 400 hertz. If you go above that, typically your resonant side head will actually snap on you and you definitely don't want that. Now that we have our resonant side head dialed in, let's flip it over and let's begin tuning the batter head. The goal for each lug that I'm gonna be tuning the batter head to will be 235 hertz each. So right now, this drum's starting off at 150 hertz, which is almost like a tom, which you do not want. So I'm gonna tune this up considerably. I recommend two to three turns for each lug then after that's done, let's see where it's at. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and smash that like button right now. Now that we have the batter head and the resonant head in tune with each other, let's hear the result of this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to be on the lookout for more tutorials just like this one in the future. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, don't overthink it, just play.